Hello friends and welcome back to my crafty space. In today's video, I'm going to be putting together week 36 in my 2018 Project Life album. I am using primarily the September Stories by the Month kit from Allie Edwards that was released back in 2018 in physical form. And then I'm also adding in some Stories by the Year to supplement my kit as well. So I have my photos, journaling cards, and all of my filler cards selected and ready to go. I've also printed a bunch of the uh, chipboard pieces from a couple of the different Stories by the Month kits and created my own chipboard with them. All that I did was I took the digitals, printed them on matte white photo paper, and then adhered that to a piece of 12 by 12 chipboard that I got from scrapbook.com and then fussy cut those all out. So that's what this container is full of. And then I also have a couple of my older stories by the month stamp sets from September as well. So we'll just kind of play around with this and see what all I want to include on this week's spread. So let's go ahead, jump in. I'm going to put you on fast forward and get my spread set out here on the table, and then we'll get to work with embellishing, stamping, and the like. Once I have the spread done, we'll slow back down and finish out our video for today. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So let's get started by setting aside all of the embellishments there, and we're just going to add all of the photos and journaling cards and all of that all over my desk here so we can see everything how it's going to look when we get it into the album itself. Now you'll notice right away that my photos for this particular week are a incredibly busy like there is a lot going on in these photos so I'm going to keep my embellishing fairly light this week I am mostly using the stories by the month collection from September of 2018 to tell my stories however I did add in a couple of extra cards I've got I know I've got one that says uh, memories or something like that. There it is, moments and memories at the bottom. And that was from the Stories by the Year kit, which I supplemented into this spread because I wanted another card that gave me a large area for journaling because the main event for this week was my sister-in-law's bachelorette party. So that's what the majority of these photos came from. And so I knew I wanted something a little bit more substantial to be able Able to capture the story of the weekend of celebrating with her. So that card fit the bill. And then it also allows me to take the stories by the month kit and stretch it across more of the month of September. So I'll be able to get the majority of my layouts done with that one kit and a few extra cards from either my stash or from that stories by the year kit. So then I also pulled out an older label sticker sheet, I believe it was from Kelly Perky, that I added my dates to and I will eventually stick that down onto the September Stories title card there. And I also am grabbing a bunch of the chipboard pieces from the ones that I had pre-made and I'm just scattering them around my spread trying to come up with you know, an, a design that I like where it feels intentional but not too busy since my photos are already Already pretty significantly busy. So here is generally what I end up with and then I also grabbed over my tiny phrase stickers. These ones are black with white writing on them and I'm going to add that on a couple of the photos here as well. One of the things that I knew I wanted to do with the three asterisk chipboard pieces. So there is the like red, burnt red, burnt orange looking one that I added to my title card. And then I have two additional ones, one that's on the four by six card of my sister-in-law and her two sisters. And then I also have one that is on the bottom photo that right now is covered up by my planning sheet there. And what I decided to do was to layer up a couple of these tiny phrase stickers next to the asterisk. And then I will go ahead and adhere the asterisk down right beside those. So the reason I did that is because I wanted the chipboard piece to draw your attention and then for you to be able to see the tiny phrase stickers from there. In addition to adding the tiny phrase stickers onto the photos themselves, I'm also going to add them onto this chipboard piece right here that I'm placing down. I like the color variation on that piece, but I felt like it was just a little bit bare and it gave me a really nice canvas for adding some additional 
phrase stickers to and dressing it up just a little bit more. Also muting down all of those colors by adding the black and white on top. So for the most part, that is what I'm doing for my embellishing this time. I'm also going to add a couple of the tiny phrase stickers, um, I believe, on top of the photos. Don't quote me on that. We'll see when we get to that part because I can't remember at this point. For my photos this week, like I said, a majority of these came from my sister-in-law's bachelorette party. We started off the weekend by going to a painting class from a company called Painting with a Twist, which allows you to bring in uh, wine with you and that sort of thing. So we went and painted this um, like tree that was blowing in the wind together with all of the girls, and it was a really great time. And then the rest of the time, um, or the rest of the photos here, came from the Renaissance Festival. So that's what we did the next day. Here in Michigan in the month of September, there's always, well really, it's I believe like August and September. There is a big festival that happens um, near where we all live called the Renaissance Festival, where you dress up and they have activities and and shows and like all kinds of really fun stuff. I'm actually really looking forward to going back to this festival when, you know, things are okay for us to do so. Maybe this year and if not this year then next year for sure. So that's where most of those photos in the middle come from. And then at the end of the spread, I've got a picture of my husband and our neighbor who did a race through our local zoo and then a picture of the guys with the kids on their shoulders. All right, friends, that completes my spread for this week. I love the way that this one came together, especially the way I was able to pair some of these chipboard pieces with the tiny phrase stickers. I love how that clustered up and gave me some space to add a little bit more interest and a little bit more context, kind of, sort of, to my spread for this week. I hope that you enjoyed seeing how this spread came together, and I hope that it inspires you to pull out some of your unfinished projects and see if there's something that you can do to move them one step closer to being finished. I know for me, sometimes it's just taking that first step is the hardest part. So let this be an encouragement to you that it can totally be done. All right, friends, I will be back again next week with another spread in this 2018 Project Life album. Until then, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week. Enjoy your weekend, and I will catch you all in next week's videos. Bye, friends.